$25,000 Hillary Clinton received for the speech you just saw was actually $7,000 less than Rutgers paid Jersey Shore reality TV star Snooki. So joining us now with reaction is RNC chairwoman Ronna McDaniel. Ronna, I, I just want to say one thing. Hillary Clinton just said in, in that sound, she said that uh, the press kept telling her to go away. Now, what I find shocking is they told her anything given that she roped them off. Do you remember that during the campaign? She had them all roped off so she wouldn't have to talk to them. Uh, what's your take on Hillary and what she's doing in the public square? Well, where do we start? I mean, she's so willing to play the sexist card when in reality she is being treated exactly like any other nominee who would have continued to denigrate half of the country, who would continue to uh, fail to acknowledge the failings of their campaign. And the other thing she doesn't acknowledge is what President Trump provided for the American people, which was a vision of more jobs and higher wages. And so by continually refusing to acknowledge the failings of, of her campaign and why she lost, she is uh, hurting her party, and her party is saying, please go away, you are hurting us. No other previous nominee has put their foot in their mouths as much as Hillary Clinton has since this election ended. And you know, what, what's interesting is we never thought that that Clinton machine would ever be confronted by someone as daring as some of these politicians to say, you know, maybe it's time for you to go away, or as I say, to go back into the woods. But Rana, you know, the talk about the, the midterms in a presidential election, um, uh, be, you know, first term, I should say, uh, it, it, it usually it benefits the other party. But now with Hillary Clinton and this lunacy, her saying that the election was traumatic, you know, doesn't this benefit Republicans? It does. And I do think the people who aren't telling her to go away are the Democrat leadership. We haven't heard from Chuck Schumer or Nancy Pelosi. And what she said was truly insulting to say that women only voted for President Trump because our husbands told us to. That is so denigrating to say that we are against uh, African-Americans having jobs yeah. and, 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 and progressing in our economy. That is so insulting. And so what she has said should be denounced by Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi and these red state Democrats that we're not hearing from, Joe Donnelly, Debbie Stabenow in my state, uh, Tammy Baldwin, Bill Nelson, where are you? So it's interesting that the Democrat leadership is not distancing themselves as vocally as they should be from the very, very insulting comments of Hillary Clinton. And it is going to help us in these midterms because President Trump not only put forward a vision in this election, he is delivering. Yeah. With people getting bigger paychecks and more jobs coming back, people are feeling so good about their lives. They have more money to spend on their families. This is something that they're going to take to the polls in November and say, I need to return Republicans to office because they are delivering for me and my family. Well, and you know what? It's not just returning Republicans to office, but those Republicans who are like-minded, like the President Trump. Uh, you know, I think that going forward, it's only going to benefit candidates to at least talk the way President Trump. Does. Yeah, I, of course. I mean, look at what President Trump has done in this year. ISIS is on the run. Our military is being funded. He cares about our borders and our laws. Uh, he cares about our judges, making sure they abide by our Constitution. And then just look at the deregulation and the tax cuts. Two thirds of Americans are seeing bigger paychecks because of President Trump. So every Republican should be looking at what President Trump did. He is a bold leader, and it is going to take a bold vision to win in these midterms. And we're going to need to. Get Get out there and make our case. We're starting to see those numbers close. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, the RNC's raised double the DNC. We are in, in all these battleground states. We know we have to keep these majorities because we have something to fight for. America's on the comeback, and we cannot go back to the Schumer Pelosi dark ages. All right, Rana, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. All right. And joining us now with more reaction is Fox.